Hello and my special greetings to everyone. So our today's video is going to be about our Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and the Abrahamic monotheistic religion which is thoughtfully called Islam. So starting off, our Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was the best of creation, the beloved of God. We Muslims believe that the Quran was revealed by God orally to the seal of the Prophet Muhammad through the Archangel Jibra'il or Gabriel. Gradually over a period of 23 years starting from December 22nd, 609 after decade when Prophet Muhammad was just 40 years old, he had received his first revelation at that time whilst meditating in the cave of Hera on the outskirts of Mecca. And also it had concluded that in the year of 632, which was the year of his death, may Allah bless him. But behalf of that, I have some important pending questions. So starting with, how do we face waves of ridicule from our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and our true religion? Do we face it with violence? Do we face mockery with murder? Rather, do we help those who mock Islam to distort the image of Islam? And lastly, how did the greatest prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, face the Quraysh's mockery? Okay, <laughs> we have got lots of questions right here. And of course, the rational person takes advantage of this opportunity to convey the tolerant message of Islam and also to define those who are ignorant of Islam, the greatness and mercifulness of this wonderful religion. So the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, taught and treated those who had neglected our religion in his time. And most importantly, Quraysh with wisdom and good advice. And indeed, Islam glorifies them. This is Islam's mercifulness even for its enemies. So we should realize that any action that contributes to distorting the image of Islam is a free service to the enemies of Islam, especially the global Zionist lobby. So I perfectly want to say to every Muslim who loves this merciful prophet that the best thing which can be done is to spread the teachings of our prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, and also to declare or liaise his messages to humanity. Generally speaking, the Prophet was merciful and he loved compassion, tenderness, and also patience. However, if we want to please this great messenger, we must follow his approach in dealing with atheists and mockers as that God Almighty has sufficed him like this. Praise and worship God Almighty is the best work to respond to mockers and as well as work to spread the word of the Quran and miracles of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, may God bless him and grant him peace. Most probably, everyone has heard about the French filmmaker who had converted to Islam a few days after the incidents which had happened on January 2015, which was named as Charlie Hebdo shooting. After seeing the truth and realizing the mercy and greatness of this merciful prophet, Muhammad, peace be upon him, this woman, Isabel Matic, a French film director, converted to Islam and said, by her saying this, she meant that today I passed through the first pillar of Islam. And she said, I testify that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his messenger. Actually, you know what, this is a good news for us to see such incidents as a reason for alerting the West oblivious to the truth of Islam. To know the splendor of this religion and this mockery may be a reason for many embracing Islam. So we ask our Almighty to spread his religion until it reaches the night and day as our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, foretold. Praise be to God, Lords of the Worlds. And now that we have reached to the end, 
I would like to add something wonderful about our Prophet Muhammad's last words before his death. So his final advice was him saying that the prayer, the prayer and fear Allah regarding those whom your right hands possess. For example, the slaves. And now I want to thank everyone for listening. And I wish everyone had understood more about our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and a small idea about our religion, Islam. Thank you.